clear of evils such as corruption that has dented the image of this service and which we are determined to restore to its rightful glory. This is no job therefore for the faint hearted. Security of our people and their property is now in your hands and that is a heavy responsibility. KTN News will not reveal the identities of these police officers. Others like them have been dismissed, victimized or died under unclear circumstances over what they knew or talked about. These are graduate police constables, men and women who have invested in a good education which according to them is supposed to help improve the quality of services delivered by the police. However, what they are going to talk about is the latest in the wider controversy that has marred the police service tasked with protecting life and property. And we feel very much discriminated because of what has been happening since uh, 2016, uh, later than 2016. Because after you've graduated, uh, you will update your file with the documents from the university. And what they do is they have to verify by writing let letters to the respective universities to verify whether the certificates are genuine. So later than 2016, uh, we were, the, the, the job group has never changed. You're supposed to change from job group F to job group J and they stopped saying that we are waiting for some policies of which we've never seen. The National Police Service Charter is very clear. Uh, one of it says uh, it wants the National Police Service to be professional and a world-class police service. And uh, we wonder. And I think uh, the team of graduates, the graduate police officers, are the ones to achieve this mandate. And they're the best place. But uh, it's unfortunate that uh, they are not recognized, they're not appreciated. And the sort of variation and discrimination where some officers are paid and, uh, some, and others are not paid and, and both have the same qualification. And when it comes, uh, you know, when, when it comes to academics, there's no, there's no, nothing like an NCO or a constable. Both are graduates and they should be accorded the same treatment. As early as the beginning of this year, the police service had received numerous threats of mass exits from officers who felt they were being undermined. The National Police Service Commission had effected salary adjustments for police officers, adjustments which have mainly affected graduate police constables and were still those disabled in the line of duty, adjustments which will see a significant reduction of salaries in worst cases up to a drop of some 24,000. So far, they gave a list of uh, the only the paid graduates and uh, we don't know about the unpaid graduates because we are more than 1,000. And we also feel that maybe our skills are still more important. Yeah, that, just like the same, the same with the paid graduates. Here is what you need to know. This story is dating back to 1995. Parliament at the time passed a motion to upgrade the salaries of police officers. The motion was to improve the pay for graduates. The preview was welcomed and put into force by the then Internal Security Minister, Jackson Kalueo. Kalueo directed that graduates were to earn like other civil servants for two years after which they should be promoted. And as expected, this motivated police officers to seek admission into universities to enhance their education for better pay. But what has now greatly caused disaffection at Jogo House and Vigilance House is the 2016 directive that stopped police officers who had gone to school from updating their files for salary increment. In ordinary circumstances, a police officer will move from job group F to job group J after graduating and receiving a certificate. A copy of that certificate will be kept in the police officer's file as proof that they have advanced their studies and thus their salaries are also reviewed. But the National Police Service chose to abruptly terminate that procedure. 
Instead, announcing that files will no longer be updated even after the officer has graduated from university. With that, it was understood that the National Police Service will no longer increase salaries of graduate police officers. We graduated from the university, uh, different universities, and you realize uh, there is part of the graduates who are earning more than any, any other graduate uh, than other graduates. Uh, there is uh, like a number of graduates, like 1,000 graduates, who are earning uh, uh, in job group F, where they earn uh, as, as least as 21 or 22,000 shillings, and the other part of graduates. Uh, they pay, uh, they call uh, graduate police constables. They earn 40,000 to 45,000 as their basic salary. And uh, we don't have a clear picture why this happened. Because all of a sudden, we realized uh, the, there was a signal that came that uh, wanted people who, who graduated from the university from the uh, year 2016 uh, to, 20, to, to date, not to update their files with their certificates. We don't know the reasons, we don't know what happened in the way, because we realize the policy is the same policy that we are using. There is no change of policy because we realize a policy will not change overnight. It changes with time. So we wanted to know exactly what's happening with the National Police Service because there is no one there is no one certificate that is important than any other. While asking Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi to intervene, Kotu Secretary General Francis Atuoli has termed the move as the first step towards intimidation of the servicemen, designating the decision as illegal and against international and local labor laws. When we inquired as Kotu, we were told that uh, the, the, the structures the police uh, uh, management, uh, they were working on the structures uh, to absorb uh, those police officers with the degrees and soon they would be reinstated. So I would appeal to Kabrudi, who is the chair, to make sure that uh, these officers who went to school using their own money uh, are, are reinstated to the payroll and they are paid as per their academic qualifications because most of them went to recognized universities and you cannot deny them their rights and they still want to work for the police force so that is our appeal as a labor movement that let Kabrud and his team look into it seriously and make sure these officers are restored and taken back to 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 to, to, to their respective positions and on the new with the new salary structures they were promised KTN News Crime and Investigations Unit has established the magnitude of the difference in salary of the police constables who have not gained higher education and that of officers who have attained a degree. The difference between the graduate police constables receiving a pay equivalent to their education versus their colleagues who are now languishing in poverty after spending hundreds of thousands of shillings on university degrees is running into tens of thousands. This pay slip, which our investigations unit has obtained from the government human resource information system, is a random copy that belongs to one of the thousands of graduate police officers who are among those enjoying the benefits of advancing their education. From it, this graduate police constable is earning 41,110 shillings as basic salary. The officer is further entitled to a house allowance of 10,000 shillings and a police or prison's allowance of 11,000 Kenya shillings. In the end, before the repayment of loans and statutory reductions, the officer therefore earns 61,110 shillings. From another graduate police officer, his university education has since been degraded by the National Police Service Commission. A legit payslip in our possession shows that the graduate constable earns 24,110 shillings as basic salary. He gets a house allowance of 3,000 shillings 
and a police allowance of 9,000 shillings, bringing the total earnings to 38,110 shillings. And after all the requisite deductions, which include a police circle loan recovery of 5,142 shillings and a bank loan recovery of 15,000 shillings, the officer who represents hundreds of others makes a payment of over 28,000 shillings in deductions. This July payslip shows that the officer took home just 9,149 shillings as salary. But the backbone of a simmering bad blood in the police service is the bitter fact that there are police officers with the same education background, same experience in the service, and same designation doing the same job, the same way, but earning differently. They are earning differently because by the time the National Police Service was capping any further updating of files, they were yet to receive their academic certificates from their respective universities. Uh, this came to an end uh, in 2016 under unclear circumstances because there's no clear communication. You see, and if, even if uh, a policy is to be, over, if, if to be changed, we need some a clear communication. And uh, we are human, we are human. First of all, we have families, we have our needs, and somebody cannot decide one day, I wake up and decide a policy is going to be changed without uh, consulting and uh, the regulations, there are many regulations about employ employment, employees. You cannot uh, adjust somebody's salary. It's just told us the commission will decide on our vet. And there was a, a situation whereby there are a group of people who graduated, like in September 2016. And you realize some institutions takes almost three months, four months, so that their certificates are out. And some institutions like uh, Kenya, uh, MKU and Kenya University, they take a week so that their certificates are released. So you realize there's a person like uh, he graduated in December 2016. A certificate came out after a week. And there's a person who graduated in September from Moi University and the certificate came out in January, February. So you see there's a disparity. There's a discrimination of the highest order. But you find now, someone who is being paid, we are having the same uh, rank, Constable, and we are having the same qualification. So you will find that we are, he's, he or she he, he is mocking us. Yeah, we are being mocked in our offices, we are being mock, mocked in our working places. So we are not comfortable because uh, they are talking of uh, our lesser degrees. So we are, under, we are wondering, whether, do you have a lesser degree than any other degree? In fact, we, we are wondering why, because all, all of us, most of us, because our degrees were verified, and most of us, we went to a uh, recognized universities in this Republic of Kenya. So uh, our job is becoming so hard uh, to execute. For the last two years, the National Police Service did not allow graduate police constables to update their files and get a better pay but it continued to pay those who had updated their files up to and including then, 2016. When you acquire a degree, it is not uh, automatic that you are promoted. You must go through certain processes, you are identified, you are taken for further training, and you are given a rank that is appropriate to the qualifications that you have. That is now what is provided for in the scheme of service. So if you look at the scheme of service currently, and I'll invite you to take a look at it. It brings out all those. It's a very comprehensive document. KTN News Crime and Investigations Desk now learns that things fell apart when the Westlands Best Commission chose to hold payment of graduate police officers whom it had paid for the last two years in which their colleagues languished in poverty and struggled to repay loans which had sustained their education. After two years of silence, the National Police Service Commission in what has presented itself as an attempt to sanitize its actions will on March 7th, 2018 write a letter to the Inspector General of Police under reference number National Police Service forward slash one forward slash 28 forward slash one volume two number 49 communicating a board's decision to temporarily hold salaries for all constables with the university degrees. 
The matter would have passed as a top secret eating the police service, but that was before two individuals, Ayo Bugikonyo Madenge and Oscar Ngelesa Misiko, moved to court to stop the National Police Service Commission from halting salaries of the over 2,000 police constables. At this point, note that it is a case between graduate police officers who all this while have been receiving their salaries according to their ranks as graduates. But no one is talking about these ones who have never been paid since they graduated. As a matter of fact, they were stopped from updating their files and now hundreds of them are contemplating to resign. But their future could be dampened even further. It is now being intimated to KTN News Crime and Investigations Desk that there is a plan to withdraw the case pending in court and instead seek to maintain the status quo. This will mean those being paid as graduates will continue to be paid and those who have never received a cent from their new ranks will further be moved into turmoil. It is a looming legal battle. And this should reach Mr. President that there is uh, this group of police officers that are graduates from the various universities have got uh, the, the good knowledge, they earn a lot of good knowledge, they have used a lot of resources to go back to school so that they improve the efficiency and effectiveness of, uh, uh, of the service. And uh, of late we are not seeing the importance because uh, uh, the organization is not seeing their importance and you realize the term of the National Police Service Commission is almost ending and if this thing is not taken care of uh, we will remain in crisis for a long time uh, uh, when there's nothing has been done. I remember I was in one of the of the WhatsApp group. Uh, the, the group admin was called by a very senior uh, Police boss. Mm, from what he said, the Kingori Mwangi, he warned him and told him to disband all the groups, social media, and maybe not to tell anyone what is happening. He even threatened to fire or sack him. We don't know the intentions, but we even feel afraid because we have some WhatsApp group. We have to communicate to maybe find out what they are planning for us or maybe just pulling up each one's morale. But the group admins have been called, have been, they, they call them from some bosses and they're being warned, they're being threatened and sometimes we even fear for our life. Officers we cannot name given the sensitivity of the issue at hand now say a time may come when the police service will no longer be attractive to prospective recruits. Some of those contemplating to resign have had to borrow money to finance their resignations. Police standing orders require that an officer quitting the service surrenders a month's salary and issues a 24-hour notice. KTN News Crime and Investigations Unit is aware that in the past, there were dozens of police officers who some way, somehow, had been placed on a tainted payroll. The officers were and others are still being paid as graduates, yet they never stepped into any university in Kenya or in fact anywhere else. There are other seniors, police officers who are still in universities, pursuing various degrees. And uh, we are wondering how they are going to benefit from this because they have that intention of benefiting from these uh, degrees they are pursuing. So we are asking ourselves, are they going to use backdoors? that they can hope to benefit from uh, these degrees because this issue is uh, really, really disturbing because even if you look at our pay slips are very pathetic. Leave alone sustaining uh, our families. We cannot even sustain ourselves. We live alone our direct uh, immediate families members. Eh? If, in fact, we work for, you know, every month we work knowing that by the end of the month we are earning, uh, you know, something less than 4,000. So, it, it, it is so demoralizing. 
the National Police Service has been struggling to conduct an audit to weed out fake graduates from its 3,739 registered graduates from across its three wings of the Kenya Police Service, the Administration Police Service, and the Directorate of Criminal Investigations. On its part, the National Police Service says it temporarily halted the pay to conduct an audit. But the chairman of the National Police Service Commission, Johnston Kavuludi, is once again addressing the most recent issue that has since been challenged in court and not the 2016 matter. The commission did not stop the salaries of police officers who have got degrees, the graduates. The commission undertook to audit First of all, we isolated who those officers were, right? So there was a temporary stoppage by isolating who are these officers. Then we went on to place them back on the payroll since we now knew them. And we sent out teams to the regions to look at all their documents, to vet them, to determine the extent to which they are authentic for purposes of proper inclusion in the payrolls and secondly, so that we can design courses that will ensure that they are placed appropriately in the inspectorate ranks. That is what we've done and we have completed the work. Together with us, we also were able to take a look at officers living with disabilities because we had determined and we had been told that there had been some cheating involved. Now we know how many police officers are living with disabilities. The purpose is so that we can also place them appropriately. Somebody will take a loan, go and uh, advance in education. Uh, you know, first of all, we are human beings. We, are, we have families. And uh, apart from that, for efficiency in our jobs, we need their skills. Yeah. They come hand in hand. The benefits and the the benefit to an individual officer and then the benefit to the larger organization as the police. Um, it's, uh, let's say it's mutual. It should be mutual, not discriminating. They want your services, but uh, they don't want to, uh, to reward it or to appreciate it in some way. We are really, we are really looking upon uh, on this issue and we would like to plead, uh, to plead with the government uh, to, to assist us as an unpaid police graduate within the National Police Service. Because even if you need to stop something, you cannot wake up in the morning and stop something. There must be enough and sufficient notice that you need to stop this. Because normally, a degree takes four years. Therefore, you need to consider for somebody who is in the first year, second year, third year, and for the year. What the police officers did, including junior officers, they did uh, what they could using the mega salaries they were earning to go to the universities. They joined various universities in the country to advance their knowledge in criminology, administration, and uh, public relations. Most of them have degrees. And also uh, the modern techniques in apprehending uh, uh, those people they are sent to, to arrest. But then, after that, they were absorbed in the service under new skills as academician police officers. If later on, uh, the scheme was suspended. The uh, National Police Service Charter is very clear. Uh, one of it says it wants the National Police Service to be professional and a world-class police service. And uh, we wonder. And I think uh, the team of graduates the graduate police officers are the one to achieve this mandate and they are the best place but uh, it's unfortunate that uh, they are not recognized, they are not appreciated and uh, there is a sort of variation and discrimination. But this is not just another civil service job. You will often wake up long before everyone else and retire last. This is no job, therefore, for the faint-hearted. The security of our people and their property is now in your hands, and that is a heavy responsibility. President Uhuru Kenyatta had given in to the cabinet secretary, Dr. Fred Matiangi, up to 30 days to
to work on a draft formula on proper housing within the police and generally figure out mechanisms of reforming the service. In the meantime, these graduate police constables await a reflection of their university degrees on their payslips since 2016. They spent hundreds of thousands acquired through loans and commitment of their payslips to education. For now, that is all they can do, wait. But no one knows, wait for what? Brian Obuya, The Lead, KTN News.